welcome to the lecture introducing our course. This course introduces students to the Old Testament world and cultures, giving context to the Old Testament history and writings. We truly understand history and literature when we are familiar with the context causing the history and literature. The Hebrew people, later the nation Israel, did not live in their own little world. Many other people groups and cultures surrounded and influenced them. Culture is the practical way how we organize and live our lives. Israel's God, Yahweh, called Abram, father of the Israelite nation, from within this world and among these cultures. God taught them how to live a life different in meaning and significance compared to the prevailing cultures surrounding them. God, in His wisdom, did not uproot His covenant people from their familiar world, but changed their perspective of this world, causing Israel's culture to change from the inside out, taking on a different meaning. Every person, people group or nation, view life and reality through a particular pair of glasses or spectacles. We call this our world view. A world view gives rise to culture and culture develops a lifestyle. Ancient civilizations organized their existence through a culture of idolatry, temples, cities, kings, priests and sacrifices. In this course, students learn about these cultural practices, their meaning and significance. We learn by comparing and contrasting ideas. The Old Testament describes Hebrew life organized by similar cultural practices. The tabernacle, later the temple, priests, sacrifices and kings. These entities gain true meaning when we compare them to those of ancient cultures. When we compare Israel's worldview with the ancient worldview, we discover Israel's uniqueness. At the end of this course, idolatry, temples, priests, cities, kings, and sacrifices will take on a simple and easy to understand meaning. Armed with this new understanding, the Old Testament will become alive and vibrant to you. Even in the New Testament, these institutions are ever present. Jesus continuously teaches in and about the temple the central institution of Hebrew life. He compares his body to the temple in John 2 verse 19 to 21. Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple and I will raise it again in three days. The Jews replied, It has taken 46 years to build this temple and you are going to raise it in three days? But the temple he had spoken of was his body. Paul echoes this saying in 1 Corinthians 3 verse 16. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit lives in you? Peter says in 1 Peter 2 verse 5. You also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Old Testament entities clearly did not lose their significance for the New Testament writers. 
If you want to understand the Old Testament world and the teachings of Jesus better, you are invited to join us. In this course, we do not examine each culture in microscopic detail, but give students a wide-angle lens perspective on the broad-based culture of the ancient world. This will serve as the background against which we read the Bible. Join us for a great learning experience. Mm -hmm.